So next one, I will be talking about Wase Ego, which are Japanese made English. Mm. So those are. Mm. So those are the Japanese made English that either don't exist in English or the meaning of that is so different from the original English. Mm. Maybe you've heard of this um, vocab, salaryman. Salaryman. Do you know what this means? Salaryman. Do you guys have any, have any ideas? Salaryman. Uh. Salaryman. Yeah, um, office worker. So this ne. So salary like salary. Mm. A man is a man. So it's some someone who makes money, and it usually refers to office worker. Mm. Salaryman. Salaryman. Mm. Yeah, businessman like that. Mm. So you don't say salaryman in English, do you? It's like the English word that we in Japanese made up. Uh, so that's one of the wase ego. Mm. So I would like to talk about those wase ego, Japanese made English things, because that, that would be fun to compare like English definition and Japanese English made, Japanese made English definition. Mm. Corporate worker, so this, that's right. Okay, so, the first wase ego we are having a look. This could be easy for some people, but noto pasokon, a laptop. Mm, so this, that's easy. Noto is a notebook, like this. Pasokon, uh, that is also Japanese and English, but personal computer. So here we've got. Noto pasokon o kaimas. Noto pasokon o kaimas. Buy in a notebook computer, laptop computer. Kaimas, mm. that's the buy. O particle, noto pasokon. Mm. Noto pasokon o kaimas. Okay. Next one. Next one. Tsugi wa. Kore, muzukashi gana. It can be difficult. S, N, S. S, N, S. S, N, S. What is it? Actually, um, means um, social media. <laughs> In Japanese, um, we usually just write in alphabet S N S S N S. But I think it stands for like social networking service or social networking site. Uh, in Japan, if you say social media, I don't think anyone will understand except unless they speak English. For example, um, Facebook, Facebook, mm. Twitter, Twitter. The Twitter, mm. the Instagram, Instagram. So these are example of S N S. Uh. So for Instagram, we sometimes call it um, Insta, Insta, because Instagram is a bit long. Nagai desu kara, Insta. Insta. Mm. In where you live, what is the most popular SNS? What do you use? Which SNS do you use? <clears throat> what social media do you use? Mm. Twitter. TikTok, oh, TikTok is very big in Japan among like 
high school students, university students as well. Hmm. Where did <laughs> Facebook? I'm old. Are you not old? <laughs> I use Facebook as well. Um, I'm kind of old as well, but you're not. Um, YouTube. So this. Nah. So if you are traveling to Japan, maybe next year, not now, sadly, but um, it's a good idea to download the line beforehand. It's a great way to get in touch with Japanese people. They've got very cute stickers as well, so that you can send some stickers to friends. Mm. Do you use messaging app in your country? Or do you just use like text message? I, I message and stuff. Cool, yeah. So if you're planning to go to Japan, maybe next year, please download LINE, maybe. Mm. So I'll give you one example sentence. <laughs> That's, this is very long, sorry about that. <coughs> Repeat after, uh, please listen carefully. SNS O Mainichi Tsukaimas SNS O Mainichi Tsukaimas In natural speed SNS O Mainichi Tsukaimas That means I use social media every day. Tsukaimas here. Tsukaimas is use. Mm. Mainichi every day. O is another particle. SNS. Mm. So this name. SNS. O. Tsukaimas. That's the use social media. Daijobu desu ka? Is everything okay? Okay, so next one I'm going to introduce is this word, mansion. Oh, it means apartment in Japanese. So if you hear someone saying, I live in mansion, that, mean, that doesn't mean they live in a massive house. <laughs> it means just a maybe kind of tall apartment, kind of a little bit big, but not as massive as mansion. It's an ordinary apartment like condominium. So the example sentence I'm going to introduce is マンションに住んでいます。マンションに住んでいます。住んでいます。Mm. Technically you're saying I'm living, living somewhere. に that a particle that describes the place, ni, in, a mansion, apartment. So you say, I live in an apartment, maybe tall apartment. Mm. So don't confuse uh, Japanese mansion with English mansion. It's more of apartment, maybe tall building of the apartment, but not like the mansion, the massive house that you have in English. Mm. Mm. The next one. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't know. That's Lenji. Lenji. Nandeska. What is it? Lenji. Mm. That's one of the home appliances. Lenji. I, I give you a hint. You find this in the kitchen and you put cold food and put it in here, put it in the, that thing. And goes ding when it's ready. <laughs> That's microwave. Mm, I don't know why, but we call it lenji. I think that comes from gas range. Like, it, I don't know if you still call it, but like if you got like kind of stove thing that you cook food on it on it. That's a gas range or gas stove. Uh, I think we got that. This word lenji. Mm, but the meaning is microwave, microwave. So if you go to like, one of the home appliances shops in Japan, if you say, oh, do you have microwave? I don't think they understand. You have to say lenji, lenji. Mm. Then another example sentence is lenji de chin, 
Shimasu. So that's another way of using katakana. We use katakana for onomatopoeia. Uh, so the sound that microwaves makes, like chin, we just we say it. Chin shimas. Chin chin shimas. Mm. That's kind of conversational Japanese. Chin shimas. Renji de chin shimas. The next one. So this is not Japanese made in English because English has this word, but the pronunciation is so different. So I add it to the slide. But I want to ask, what does uirusu mean? Uirusu. Uirusu. I give you a hint. So the world is in trouble because of this. And John Sam was right, that means virus. <laughs> virus, yeah. The meaning is the same, but the pronunciation is so different, so that I decided to put this word onto Japanese made English. Virus. Virus. Mm. So if you said virus in Japan, maybe people don't understand. Virus. Virus. We use the same word for computer virus. 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 Mm. Corona. Virus. Um, John Sam pointed out the earlier that um, in Japanese, ra, 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 R sound doesn't exist. And it sounds a bit like English L. So um, don't pronounce it like virus. That's more about virus. Virus. So that's next. Virus. Virus. Mm. Maya san asked me about whiskey. That's whiskey. Uh, whiskey. So we don't have we sounds. We make it ui. Whiskey for whiskey. But what we are seeing now, now is virus. Virus. I don't know why we didn't call it just virus. Virus. <laughs> Virus. Corona virus. Mm. The next one is also related to virus virus. But what about vaccine? Vaccine. What is it? Vaccine. Oh, <laughs> Morgan sound was very quick, but it means a um, vaccine. Uh, Wakuchin, that's vaccine. Wakuchin. So in Japanese, we don't have v sound, so we kind of replace v sound with something else, like virus, like v virus becomes we, and vaccine, v becomes waku, <laughs> for some reason, wakuchin. Mm. So uh, instead of saying vaccine, please try to say Wakuchin in Japanese. Mm. Of course, the same example would be Corona virus no Wakuchin. Corona virus no Wakuchin. Mm. So there are two Japanese made words, Japanese made English words Corona virus, Wakuchin. But if you want to combine two nouns into one, you put no. This no works to describe vaccine. What is a vaccine for? Oh, that's against coronavirus. Coronavirus. No vaccine. So no works like a modify a noun by a noun. Coronavirus. No vaccine. That's no for watashi no namae, my name. Watashi me, my, no namae. No. That's another particle, and we use hiragana for this. No. Mm. 